prophetic. Yes, understanding um, the power of the prophetic, how it's able to cause things to shift in the lives of people. And so I want you to connect with me and then um, we will not be taking long on the word. We will just be moving fast and then we can pray. Last week, those that were online, I received calls that I've never received before for Kesha. People were like, they, those that were online felt like they were in the physical service because they were tremendously blessed. So I strongly believe as you are here, you should be privileged that you are in the service. Amen? Yes. yes. Now, um, I, I made you understand that a prophecy is uh, a word that is given under divine inspiration. Somebody say prophecy. Prophecy. Actually, I've, be, I've decided to be teaching about a prophetic because most people um, don't really understand what the prophetic is and what it is not. Amen? <clears throat> so I'll be teaching about it, I mean, I mean, moving forward so that you can be able to capture and run with the knowledge. Amen? Amen. So, with any word that is given under divine inspiration is prophecy. So, prophecy is any decree, any announcement, any word that is given under divine inspiration. So, if uh, Prophetess Grace stands here and just says, may the heavenly father favor you. That is prophecy. Are you hearing me? Yes. If Pastor Joshua stands here and says, you are blessed, it is any word that is given under divine inspiration is considered as what? Prophecy. It's considered as what? Prophecy. Yes, because it is divinely inspired by the Holy Spirit. The prophetic is the channel by which God expresses his mind or by which God expresses his mind to humanity. What God wants to communicate as it concerns a person, a nation, a situation, it's communicated through the channel of the prophetic. What God really wants to tell his people, he uses the instrument of the prophetic to communicate it. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. That is why we say, the Bible says, that the word of God is the sure word of prophecy. Because the word of God is uh, what God wants to communicate to us. So the word of God is also the sure word or the primary word of prophecy to us. So when, as you receive the word, you are receiving a prophetic message. And the other day I entered a church and I said, how many of you here has never heard the voice of God? Some people raised their hand. They said they have never heard God speak to them. And I said to them, have you heard your pastor preach? They said, yes. I said, then you have heard the voice of God. As a man of God stands and gives a word and that divine inspiration that is also considered as prophecy. Tell your neighbor prophecy. Prophecy. Yeah. So prophecy alone is not you. Are you Mary? Yes. You. Are you Joshua? Yes. Do you come from Kisi? Yes. Now that is. <laughs> that helps you. That helps you to believe the prophetic word that is given. Mm. Are you getting my point? Yes. Those identifications and the revelations that come with the prophecy helps you to be able to identify that or connect with the word that is given. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you are able to believe the word because there are other things that the man of God said to you that possibly you, um, um, you knew he didn't know. So once he declared it, you are able to embrace that prophetic message well. Because if I say to everybody here, there are some people here God is going to favor. Amen. Amen. Everybody will say amen. amen. Now, but if I say there is someone here, God is going to favor you because I see there is somebody here, you are working with an international, some team, um, group of international um, 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 financiers and God is going to favor you. Then I limit the people that I'm talking about. It connects to a certain few people. Are you hearing me? Amen. Yes. Is there anybody here working with international financing? Yes. And now, raise your hand. Every one of you. Raise your hand. Yes. So, so, those of you here, come on, be upstanding. If you are working with a, for international, those of you here. So, one, two, three, four. 
Now, I can confidently say there is nobody here working with the international financing. Yeah, why? Because I pointed here and the, all the people are concentrated here. One, two, three, four, five. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. Why? Because prophetically, I could see. Can I declare something unto you? Yes, prophet. Any financing you are looking for, may it come speedily. I receive it. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. You can be seated. Now, hear me. So, by the prophetic word and by the identifications that come with the prophecy, someone is able to connect with the word. Are we together? Yes. Now, let me just go on quickly. Now, when you receive a prophetic word, the first thing you need to believe, you need to do, which I shared yesterday, is that you need to believe the word. Tell your neighbor, believe the word. You need to believe the word. Now, I said there are five things that can happen to prophecy. How many of you remember? Five things. Number one, I said the prophecy can be fulfilled. Number two, a prophecy can be what? Contaminated. Number three, a prophecy can be what? Delayed. Number four, a prophecy can be what? Aborted and number five, a prophecy can be what Change. changed. You see, so when a prophetic word comes to you, you should understand that that is not the divine finality because any of these five things can happen to a prophecy you receive. The prophecy can be fulfilled, like um, our lady here gave a prophecy that it was fulfilled. I mean, a prophecy can be delayed, God can give you a prophecy and it is delayed. And I explained that last week. That when God gave a prophecy to Abraham, he said, for no, for a surety, no certainly that your descendants shall be in a land that is not yes, and they shall serve them for 400 years. Jehovah God, Abba Father gave the prophecy. The prophecy was delayed for 30 years. That means that even when God, and someone say, oh, I mean, this is the prophet that gave the prophecy. So because he's human, that is why the prophecy has delayed. God is a spirit, even him, his prophecy delayed for 30 years. Not just that. Concerning the children of Israel in Babylon, he has said they were going to be there for 70 years. After 70 years, they were still there. Mm. Are you getting me? Yes. So a prophetic word can be delayed. The next thing um, I said, a prophetic word can be contaminated. When God says you are supposed to be here, you are supposed to um, 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 grow to become this much, that much. And I told you about the old prophet and the young prophet. Where God has called a young prophet, you see him mightily in the word of God. And if an old prophet comes to twist and contaminate the word that the young prophet has received. And the, oh, and the young prophet dies in the process. Why? It was not, he was not supposed to die. That was not his mission. But because the word that God had given him was contaminated by another man. One of the most dangerous things that can happen to you as a child of God is to get your prophetic word contaminated. When you are supposed to be the owner of an estate and you build a small three bedroom house and so you feel like you have arrived. That is not what God wished for you. Mm. This day I pray for you. Yes. And the prophetic word that has been spoken concerning your life. Yes. I declare it shall come to pass. I, I declare it shall come to pass. I, I declare it shall come to pass. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. And I said a prophetic word can be aborted. It can completely be aborted and not manifest. And a prophetic word can be what? Changed. When God himself gave a prophecy through Isaiah that go tell Hezekiah that he's going to die. Within a matter of minutes, God changed his mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. The same God that said the man is going to die changed his mind and said, no, I'm not going to kill him anymore. Can I tell you something? If you read the book of Isaiah and you lived in the days Isaiah was prophesying, you will say Isaiah is a false prophet. You know why? Most of the prophecies Isaiah gave they never came to pass in his time. Hello? Hello? The prophecies Isaiah gave came to pass after he was dead and gone. In fact, some of them came to pass 600 years later. He prophesied that a, a Messiah is going to be born. The Messiah was born 600 years later. What does that tell you? If a prophecy Isaiah gave was fulfilled after 600 years, there is no sure prophecy that if you hold on to it shall not come to pass. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes. The prophecy may be delayed, but it shall surely come to manifestation. 
when Zachariah gave a prophecy concerning how Jesus will enter into Jerusalem, Zachariah gave a prophecy and said, when the Messiah comes, he shall sit on a donkey and ride on a donkey to Jerusalem. When Jesus, that was six, 400 years before Jesus was born. When Jesus was born and he was supposed to enter into Jerusalem, exactly as Zachariah has said in scripture, years before even Jesus' mother and father were born, the word was fulfilled exactly the same way. Let me tell you, once a prophetic word is given, you need to be able to connect with it. Tell your neighbor, connect with it. Connect with it. Tell your neighbor, connect with it. Connect with it. Tell your neighbor, connect with it. Connect with it. Because if you don't believe the word, it doesn't matter who gave you the word. The word may never come to pass. I, I told you about myself. I use myself as an example. How a man of God gave me a prophetic word. And it was a powerful prophetic word. He even told me things I had not told him. About how I was going to go to the UK. And study and what, what, what. And he said I will start up a church in Birmingham. And the fact that that part of you start a church in Birmingham. I didn't like that prophecy. So I, I decided to reject that prophecy. Immediately I left his premise. I left his room. I started canceling that prophecy. I canceled this word. And he's not a joke. He's a senior prophet. He, they, he, they, we don't call him in Ghana. They don't even call him prophet. They call him seer. That means S-E-E-R. He's old. Uh, he's an um, old mosaic. He's old in the prophetic to an extent that calling him prophet will be like you are demeaning his anointing. But he gave me the word and I said, I cancel this word. It is not going to come to pass. I nullify it. Why? Because I felt it was not a word I liked. Can I tell you something? You are the primary prophet of your own life. As long as your life and your destiny is concerned, there is no greater prophet anywhere than you. Did you hear what I said? Yes. The greatest prophet on earth, as far as your life and your destiny is concerned, is you. You can decide to overrule. You can decide to invoke. You can decide to release, claim every word that has been spoken concerning your life. And at the same time, you can overturn the word. As long as it concerns your destiny. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every negative decree. Every negative decree. Made over my life. Made over my life. I overturn it. I overturn. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So for now, how do you make your prophecy come to pass? Number one. If you want your word you have received to come to pass, this is the first thing is that believe with absolute certainty the word you have received. You don't have to wink to the left, to the right. I told you about Esther's testimony. Esther, she was in Canada. The testimony that was that was uh, played on the screen. I gave her a test, a prophecy. I said, you will go to Canada. You will get a visa. She went to the embassy and she was denied the visa. I said, this is Papa. You said I will get a visa. I said, yes, that is what I heard. Anything else, I don't know. Because God told me you get a visa. So go back to that same place. And guess what? She went the second time and she was granted. Why? You see, when a word comes and you believe the word, it does because, let me tell you, the primary purpose of the devil, every one of you listen to me. In fact, if you see somebody dozing off, give them a very good, good. Hear me. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Because, because what I'm telling you now, it is going to change your life. What the, one of the greatest things that the devil seeks to do is to make you think that God is a liar. So that you lose faith in God. That, that is the greatest assignment of the devil. To bring you to a space and a place where you feel like God has disappointed you. What God told you, it is not working. All these preachings and prayers you are making, they are going nowhere. That is the primary assignment of the devil. To make you feel like God is a liar. Are you getting my point? Yes. Are you getting my point? Have you been there when you look at your life and you feel like, these prayers, are, are they actually working? Have you questioned even the things you are doing for God? Sometimes you begin to question them and you begin to 
to ask yourself, what is this going on? The reason is simple. The enemy is fighting your word so that you get to a space where you feel like this thing is not working. And you give up on God. But the devil came too late. We are too informed about the things of the spirit yes. that he cannot lie to us. I pray for you. Every sure word of God concerning your life, it shall come to pass. I receive. So when you receive the word, your responsibility is to hold on to the word in faith. Mm. I said, say, tell, tell your neighbor, hold on to the word in faith. Hold on to the word. When Mary received a prophetic word, and Mary was told, you are going to conceive and bear a son. Mary was a teenager at the time. She had not seen a man. She was a virgin. But the fact that the angel told Mary, Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Imagine when you study the, the, the life of Mary and you read Bible um, scholars, you understand how a young girl will have the mindset to say to an angel uh, that, sir, let what you have said manifest. Oh, damn it. That is why Zachariah was put blind. Zachariah, an angel visits Zachariah, who is a priest, a pastor. And the angel said, Zachariah, your wife Elizabeth shall conceive. Zachariah said, ah, how can this be? It is not possible. And a small girl, Mary, says, sir, be it unto me according to your word. Because the angel visited Mary before, um, um, visited um, um, Elizabeth, before um, 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 visited Mary, then visited Elizabeth. Are you getting me? Visited, El um, sorry, I beg your pardon. Visited Zachariah, then visited what? Mary. So when the angel visited Zachariah, the angel said, look at this one. You are a senior man. You are supposed to know. He said, the angel said, I am the angel Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. I have come to give you a message. And you are telling me stories. You will be, you'll be deaf. And you will and you'll be dumb. Because do you know why? Can I give you a revelation? Yes. Sir. Can I give you a revelation? Yes. Sir. Now follow me. The angel said to Zachariah, you will be dumb and not be able to speak. Why? Because your mouth has the capacity to manifest a prophecy or to counter a prophecy. Ah. Are you getting the word? Yes. Sir. Your mouth, what you say, has the capacity to cause a prophetic word to come ah. to pass or to nullify a prophecy. So when the angel visited Zachariah in the Holy of Holies and told Zachariah, Sir, your wife will conceive, the guy began to nullify the word. The guy began to, he says, the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zachariah, um, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth shall bear a son and you will name him what? Now, you see, God is a God of timing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's too much in me today. I just want to I pray that God will give me strength and grace to be able to release it. God is a God of timing. Zachariah had been married for over 20 years and they had no child. But God wanted Zachariah's child, the one that Zachariah's wife Elizabeth to deliver, to be the one that will prepare the way for the Messiah. Uh. So not until God found someone mm. to carry the Messiah, uh. Elizabeth's womb was shut. Not because she is meant to be buried. Oh. All that God was waiting for was a right person. Halimi Gadubali Asata. Can I tell you something? Yes, there is someone that needs to do, that there is someone that needs to manifest a testimony yes. for your own testimony to manifest. And today I pray yes. as I kneel on this altar. Yes. Anybody that your testimony is connected to yes. that needs to be released, yes. I declare a release, a release, a release, a release, a release, a release, a release in the name of Jesus. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Elizabeth cannot conceive, not until God has found the right person to carry the Messiah. So God was searching. He kept searching. He kept searching. And Mary was a teenager. That means that by the time Elizabeth got married, God has still, Mary has
has still not been born. Mm. Are you hearing what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Can I tell you something? Tell there is someone whose destiny is connected to yours. Uh -huh. And today I lift a prayer uh -huh. over your life. Yes. Anybody whose destiny is connected uh -huh. to yours, I decree and declare yes. a release of favor. A release of favor. A release of favor. Shout, I release my helper. Shout, I release my helper. Shout, I release my helper. In the name of Jesus. Sit down for a minute. So, God was looking for a Mary. So, when God, Mary was born, and Mary grows up. Mary grows up to a time God realizes Mary can conceive. Now God sends a, an angel to Zachariah and tells Zachariah, Sir, your prayer has been heard. And I ask God a question. So, Sir, all those years, all those over 20 years that they got married, it is now that you are hearing her prayer. And God said, No, I heard the prayer long time, but I was waiting for the right timing to release the testimony. Mm -hmm. Prophet, what are you saying? Uh, I have been praying and praying. Yes. It looks like nothing is uh, happening. Uh, All that I am saying is that God has uh, heard your prayer. Uh, He's just waiting for the right uh, time, time for your testimony to be released. Uh, and I make a prophecy yes. over your life. Your right time is now. 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 This year 2024, I lift a prayer over your head. Like Zachariah and Elizabeth, God shall release your word. God shall release your testimony. God shall release your miracle. If you are shall I receive? Shall I receive? Shall I receive? I have not seen the testimony. Your right time is coming. Man of God, they deny me the visa. Your right time is coming. Man of God, my husband said no. Your right time is coming. Man of God, it looks like I am growing old. No man is coming my way. The devil is a liar. Your right time is coming. Man of God, what are you saying? It looks like nothing is working. I hear the angel of the Lord say, You are like Zacharias. You are like Elizabeth. Your right time is coming. And I lift a prayer over your head. May God manifest his word. May God manifest his word. May God manifest his word. The Bible says, and God visited Mary. I prophesy. May Jehovah visit you. May Jehovah visit you. May Jehovah visit you. If you are here, shall I receive? I receive. In the year of visitation, there is a month of visitation. In the month of visitation, yes. there is a week of visitation. Yes. In the week of visitation, okay. there is a day of visitation. Yes. In the day of visitation, hour. there is an hour of visitation. Hour. Hey. In the hour of visitation, hey. there is a minute of visitation. Hey. In the minute of visitation, hey. there is a the second, second of visitation. visitation. And I prophesy, hey. let that second of visitation, yes. let it be now. I let it be now. I let it be now. Let it be now. Let it be now. Let it be now. Wherever you are hearing yes. it from, the angel of the Lord yes. is visiting you where you are. The hand of the Lord yes. is visiting you where you are. The power of God yes. is touching you where you are. I, I lift a prayer over your life. Yes. Let heaven visit you. Let Jehovah visit you. Like the angel visited Zachariah. After over 20 years, I decree and declare. Yes. Receive your word. Receive. receive a testimony. Receive. receive a miracle. Receive, receive a miracle. Receive. If you are here, shall I receive? I receive. Hey. 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 Shout hey. 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 Shout hey. 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 I receive my visitation. I receive my visitation. Shout I receive my visitation. I receive my visitation. An angel visited Zachariah. Yes. And an angel visited Mary. Mm. This coming month I prophesy. Yes. yes. I so shall visit someone. God shall send you a helper. God shall send you a helper. God shall send you a helper. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. See, the name of the angel was called Gabriel. Wow. And when you study at the etymology of Gabriel, it comes from two words, Gab and El. 
El means God. Emmanuel, God with us. Gab means messenger. So Gabriel is, is literally messenger. transliterated the messenger of God or the man sent from God. Hey. Can I say something to you? Yes, prophet. Yeah. This week there is a man yeah. hey. that shall be sent from God. Yeah. Hey. Over your oh, soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week there shall be a man yes. sent from God yes. to your home. Oh, this week there shall be a I man see. sent from God yes. to your business. This week there shall be a man yes. in Taduma Katua, yes. in I prophesy a release of a man, a release of your mind. That man that God has ordained, we call them forth. 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 We call them God sent Gabriel, which means a messenger of God yes. or a man sent from God. God. Anybody that needs to show up, yes. Here, like, yes. there shall be no delay, there shall be no denial. Yes. In the name of Jesus, if you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Hear me, hear me well. Within the next 30 days, yes. I told you in January we are believing God for 90 days. Yes. We are almost half of it. Yes. We are waiting for the other 45 days. And by the time oh. those 45 days are out, yes. you shall see money you have never seen before. See that, uh. Opportunities you have I never I seen before. See that, uh. Tenders that shall be approved for you. I see you that. have never seen them before. I I see that, uh. Doors that shall open unto you. I I see you. You, shall, you have never seen them before. I, see I lift a prayer over your life. Yes. Within the next 45 days from here, yes. may God face a someone. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. 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 When the messenger Gabriel visited Mary and visited Elizabeth, I believe people who go, the news will go around a hey, Elizabeth has been visited a hey, Elizabeth has had a testimony a hey, Elizabeth has got a miracle and if you were around Elizabeth and maybe you look at Elizabeth and she's not all that holy did you hear what I said yes sir. she she's not all that she doesn't have it all together she looks like somebody who is uh, not okay. You look at your life. You are more holier than Elizabeth. You pray more than Elizabeth. You fast more than Elizabeth. Uh, 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 but still, Elizabeth, uh, God, hey, a hey. miracle. And you begin to ask God, oh God, what is this? Uh, I thought I pray more. Yes. I thought I fast more. Yes. I thought I live better than her. Yes. But God, what uh, uh, is happening? Can I tell you something? Yes, when Elizabeth gets a miracle yes. and you are close to Elizabeth, yes. you should know yes. the moment God visited uh, her, yes. you are next in line. line. You are next in line. You are next in line. You are next in line. Because you see, when God visits your neighborhood, it's a sign when God visits your neighbor, it's a sign that God is in the neighborhood. Yes. When he is through with your neighbor, yes. you are next in line for a testimony. Oh, yes. I prophesy. Yes. I prophesy. Yes. The same job somebody got and you were yes. envious. Yes. You don't need to be. Your oh, old job is coming. Yes. The same car you saw and you dreamt yes. of. Yes. Your own oh, is coming. I I see. See. The same wedding you attended. Yes. I prophesy. Yes. Yes. Your own wedding shall I come. See. I lift a prayer over oh, your head. Yes. Lim my patu pati. And I decree and declare, yes, get ready for a testimony. Yes, get ready for a testimony. Yes, get ready for a testimony. testimony. Give somebody a high five uh, and say, neighbor, neighbor, you are next in line next in for line. a miracle. miracle. You are next in line next for in line. a testimony. testimony. You are next in, in line. I'll receive it. Why don't you give the Lord a oh. shout? Hey, hey, hey. It looks like God has disappointed uh, me. 
but I'm next in line. I'm next in it line. It looks like my marriage is delayed, yes. but I'm next in line. Yeah. It looks like people are buying cars, uh, uh, but uh, I am next, next in, line. in line. Can I tell you something? Yes. By the time your own car comes, yes. everyone's own will be old. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. By the time your own miracle comes, mm. everybody will be wondering, yes. how did it happen? And you say, yeah. the God of Grace Arena God. has visited my life. Ah. And I make a prayer over you. Satuba la katua. I pray for you. Yes. Yes. May grace from this altar yes. visit your life. Visit your family. Visit your job. I if you are here, shall I receive, I receive it. it? Sit down for a minute. Sit down for a minute. Put your hands together for the Lord. Mm. I pray for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The heavens have opened. Amen. You are Amen. next in line I for a testimony. I, I, I want you to believe God until the devil even begins to wonder why does this guy believe God so much? much. When even it looks like you get disappointed, you still believe. I believe. When it looks like things are hard, you still I believe. believe. When it looks like nothing is working, you I still believe. believe. The other day, when you read the book of Matthew, when, when Jesus spoke, uh, the book of Mark, I beg your pardon, uh, when, when, when Jesus, Jesus, when you read Matthew 14, Jesus spoke to Peter when Jesus was walking on water. And Jesus said to Peter, Come. And Peter stepped out of the boat and started walking on water. When Peter started walking on water, everything was okay. Yes. The guy walked on water. Nothing happened. But the moment he started to look at his surroundings, he began to sink. When a prophecy is given to you, yes. look at the word, yes. not your surroundings. No, hey, hey, hey. Did you hear what I said? Yes. yes. If you look at your surroundings, mm. you will sink, sink with the word. But if you look at the God, or the God that gave you the prophecy, yes. Yes. and you focus on the word, yes. you will sink. You will you will float, and you begin to walk, what? and you do the impossible, yes. and the impossible shall happen. Ah. When Jesus said to Peter, yeah. Peter, come. Yeah. Peter stepped on water, water. Yes. and started walking. Yes. He started walking. Mm. Nothing was happening. Mm. When the devil distracted uh -huh. him, and he began to look at his surroundings, yes. ladies and gentlemen, yes. it doesn't matter what your surroundings are saying. Look on the word. 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 Surroundings will say, Oh, you floor. No, I'm looking at the word. Surroundings will say the visa didn't come. I'm looking at the word. Surroundings will say you are 48. You are growing old. The devil is a liar. I am looking at the word. The word Jehovah gave me is that I shall be healed. Whether cancer or no cancer. Uh, hey, diabetes or pieces. Uh, it doesn't matter what the yes. report is saying. Yes. I am looking at the word. I am looking at the word. I am looking at the word. And as you look at the word, I see you afloat on the storms of life. I see you flying higher like in yours. I see you soaring and soaring. I see you breaking through. If you are here, shall I receive it? Hey, your neighbor, I look at the word. I look, I look at, at the, the word. word. No, no, no. I, I'm looking at the word. I'm looking at the word. It doesn't matter how my surroundings are dictating. I am looking on the word. At the word. Can I tell you something? Yes. By the end of this year, mm -hmm. the devil shall know yes. Yes. that of a truth we say believe in God. Yes. Yes. The hey. devil shall know yes. that of a truth we say believe in God. Yes. There are people that are wishing us to fail. Mm. They are wishing you to go down. Yes. They are wishing you to be disgraced. Yes. But can I tell you something? Yes. Ah, they shall wait forever. Yes. They shall wait forever. Hey, 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 they hey, shall hey, wait forever. Hey, yes. 
Halima Badoska Vrakate Tetele. Today, today, a prophet friend of mine called me from London and we were talking and he was saying something. He says, You were talking and talking and saying something. He said, Ah, prophet, I've heard this. I've heard that. I said to him, Son, man of God, just listen to me. One day I told my son in Ghana that where we have got into, we cannot go down. down. Here yes. in this ministry, yes. we don't go down. Yes. It doesn't matter what the devil tries to do. Hey. We don't go, go down. down. In Grace Arena, we yes. only go higher. Yes. And 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 higher. Yes. If, if hey. you are an ordinary staff, Mm. Get ready for a senior position. I see if it. you are an ordinary star, uh, get ready for a senior position. I see if you are a manager, get ready to become a director. I see if you are a director, you are going to own the business. I, see. I prophesy over your life. Yes. You can only go higher yes. and 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 higher. Yes. And higher. Yes. But can I tell you something? Yes. Does that mean that the devil will not attack you? Will. Yes, they will attack you. But as far as we know, look, yes, it doesn't matter how hard they try. Look at the world. They we cannot go, go down. down. The Bible says, if God be for you, yes, who, 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 who hey. can be against Goodness you? Me. You cannot go down. I, I said you cannot go down. I, I said you cannot go down. I, I said you cannot go down. I I you cannot go down. down. You can't go down. Yes. You can only go higher. Yes. And higher. Yes. And higher. Yes. Put your hand on your head. Say we go higher. 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 Here in this church. Yes. If anybody dies young. Yes. It is just a simple sign their time is up. But as much as we believe, yes. Yes. nobody dies premature here. Amen. It is an error. Amen. It cannot happen. Yes. I make a prayer over you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Every premature death yes. assigned against your father, yes. your mother, yes. your children. Yes. I declare back to sender. 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 When they release accident to you, hey, back to send back her. To back to send her. Uh, no, 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 no. When they release accident, back, back to, to send, send her. her. When they release strange diseases, back, back to send her. her. When they release poverty, back, back to send her. her. When they release shame, back, back, back to send her. her. Any evil they shall plan for you, yes. back, back to send her. her. In the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. This morning I was saying, even at the imagination level, when people imagine evil against you, mm. back to Sada. Hey! 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 Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. And that is anointed. And that is anointed. I can't go down. I can't, I can't go, go down. down. No, it is not possible. It is not I possible. cannot no. go down. I cannot go down. down. Now, now give me, oh, give me Romans 8, 31. Now we are going to read it in the message. Read it for me. Sh sh read it like your voice is yours. Read, read it. No, 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 no. Read it. Tell, read it like you are telling your neighbor. So what do you think? With God on our side, how can we lose? We don't lose in this church. What do you think, my friend? What do you think? With God on our side, how can we lose? How can we don't lose? We don't lose. We only win. Yes. We only win. Yes. We only win. We only win. We only win. Hey! 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 The devil is a liar. So is his mother in law. Hey! I'm telling you, with God on our side, how? How? How can we lose? How can we lose? lose? In other words, if I am to paraphrase it, put it in um, 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 in affirmative, 
That means with God on our side, we shall always win. Yes. I said with God on our side, we Amen. shall always win. win. With God on our side, we shall always win. win. Yes. So, give me the, take me back to um, Matthew um, 14. Sit down for a minute. Sit down for a minute. We are having church. This is church. This is church. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you, no, no, no. no. no uh, okay, maybe I think we have not said it here. In London, when we say this is church, you say we are enjoying it. So when I, res when I declare this is church, you respond, we are enjoying it. This is church. We are enjoying it. We are enjoying it. Yes. Now, give me this in Amplified. Now, the Bible says, Jesus said to Peter, Peter, come. And the Bible said, Peter stepped out, got out of the boat and walked on. Now, read it. Walked on. Walked on. Peter literally walked on water. Walked on water and came towards Jesus. So, as long as Peter's mind was focused on the word, he walked on water. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. As long as Peter's mind was on the word Jesus gave, he walked on water. But now, look at what the devil does to you and I. Next verse. But when he saw the effects of the wind. He was frightened and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. What made him begin to sink? The effects of the wind. When he was focused on the way, he was walking on water. But when he started looking at his surroundings and listening to what people were saying, listening to the emotionnaire around him, uh -huh. hey, I have heard, hey, I have heard, hey, I have heard, oh, are you sure this is true? Are you sure what happened? He began to sink. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as you are here and your focus is on the word, yes. it doesn't matter what it is, yes. you will still stay afloat. But if your mind starts wavering and going round and round, you will begin to sink. Yours is to focus on what God has said. It doesn't matter how good or bad, I am here for the word. My focus is on the word. The word. And as long as my mind is on the word, the word. I cannot sink. I cannot sink. I, I cannot sink. I cannot. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, doctor. It doesn't matter how hard it gets. You cannot sink. But the 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 the, the, the clue is focus on the word. Focus on the word. Focus on the word. Yes. If you focus on the word, you can't sink. The moment your eyes move from the word and it starts wavering on other things you begin to sing so let's go back to our main text Zachariah receives a prophecy yeah, he's a senior pastor imagine he was the one that was leading the entire church an angel comes and gives Zachariah a word and the guy is saying how can this be Zachariah said to the angel how can I be certain of this? Can you imagine the question that pastor is asking? How can I be certain? For I am an old man and my wife is advanced in age. In other words, the wife has reached menopause. Menopause. You know the spelling of menopause? M men on pause. Menopause. That means men are on pause in their lives. If, if you have someone who is very agitated, they talk a lot, they, and they get menopause, hey, you are finished. <laughs> menopause. <laughs> hey, pray, pray hard that anybody that gets menopause has symptoms around you, God will give you the mandate to be able to handle them. Shout, I receive that. I receive that. that is just a word for today. Let's move on. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go. So he said, sir, I am well advanced in age. And then hear what the prophet, the, the angel said. 
And angel Gabriel said, I stand and minister in the very presence of God. I have come from Yahweh's throne to give you a word, sir. And you are telling me, how can this, how can I be? The angel was, Gabriel was giving him his CV. You know where I'm coming from. I am from the presence of Elohim. I minister before Yahweh. Who do you think you are talking to? He says, and I have been sent by him to speak to you and bring you this good news. And you are here doing funny things. So hear what the angel said. Angel got angry. He said, listen carefully. You will continuously be silent. No, give me a, pro give me a proper version. King James or New King James. He didn't say you'll be silent. He will be dumb. Mute. He says, you will be mute. And not be able to speak until these things take place. Are you hearing me? Yes. The angel said to Zachariah, Pastor, because of these things, funny, funny things you are telling me, you are going to be down. Do you know why? Because your voice is what has the capacity to manifest the word or counter the word. So ladies and gentlemen, yes. the Bible says, by your words, you shall be justified. Okay? The Bible says, you shall, uh, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. God himself said in the book of Numbers, whatever you say in my hearing, that is what I will do. If you are here telling me, me, I don't think I will make it. I don't, God will make sure you don't make it. Because with your mouth, you are justified by what you say. So, I, instead of Zacharias telling the angel, I don't think this is going to happen. So, the, the angel made sure Zacharias' mouth was shut. So that he doesn't continue to say bad things to nullify the prophecy. Mm. He said, thou shalt be damp, yes. And not be able to what? Until the day these things shall be what? Performed. Because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. You don't believe the words. But he says it shall be fulfilled in season. Can I tell you something? Yes. God's word concerning your life can, shall come to pass. The only thing God has sent me to tell you today, don't counter it with your path. Don't be like Zachariah. God is saying this and you are countering me. I don't want me, 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 this. And that is how your life gets stagnated. Because you are constantly countering the things that God wants to do with you with your own mouth. The angel had to make sure Zachariah's mouth was shut. Do you know why? Because when Elizabeth, his wife, gave birth, the name of the child was John the Baptist. And the real name God gave him was the voice. Oh. Mm. Zachariah, Elizabeth gave birth to John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was called the voice. The voice. The voice. So the father, if his mouth was not shut, would have dampened or killed the voice. When John the Baptist came, he says, I am the voice crying in the wilderness, preparing the way for the law. John the Baptist came and said, I am the voice. I am the voice. I am the voice. Uh -huh. Now let's read it. For it's read, read Matthew 3. Read for me. Read for me. John the Baptist says, I am the voice, the one crying in the wilderness. So if his father was not shot, mm. he would have killed his destiny. There are sometimes God will have to remove people from you to make sure your prophecy is preserved. Amen. There are sometimes God will have to make sure certain people are removed from your life because with their mouth, with their imaginations, they can destroy the things that 
want to do in your life. The things that Jehovah want to do. Sometimes some people, they will come. Let's see this one, he will fail. Let's see this one, it will not go anywhere. I dare you, like everyone knows here. Me, I don't like negative people around me. People that are always toxic and negative and it will not work. It, we cannot do it. We don't do that. I, much as we fix our head on something, it is possible. Yes. We believe for the Bible says all things are uh, possible, possible to them that believe. Mm -hmm. And as much as we believe, everything is possible. Yes. I decree and declare yes. over your life yes. Yes. from today, yes. anybody that the devil will send yes. Yes. to shut your destiny yes. with their mouth, yes. Yes. to shut your destiny yes. with their tongue, yes. Yes. we decree and declare, yes. may Jehovah remove them, Leave may Jehovah remove them, Jehovah removed them. May Jehovah remove them. In the name of Jesus. Hey. 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 Sit down for a minute. He says, I am the voice. So, the only way you can negate your prophecy is by your by your by your tank. Your own words. So instead of you speaking negative about yourself, speak positive. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. Yes. I am lifted above every storm. Doors are opening unto me. Yes. Declares great things upon your life. That's why I'm saying I'll buy a private jet. Yes. I mean, declare great things upon your life. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. yes. But by your ways you shall be what? Justified. And by your ways you shall be condemned. Read it, read it, read it. One go. Uh huh. Read it again. And by your ways you shall be what? The ways you speak are the ones that you are going to either be condemned with all justified with so instead of you to say negative things and bad things and things that does not glorify god say the right things now we are going to read this scripture in passion translation give me the passion translation by your words you shall be justified and by your words in the court of heaven oh, oh before we go to, when you go to court do our people down there yeah counsel they speak isn't it the things you say can be used against you. When they arrest you, they say, whatever you say here can be used against you in the court of law. Shall we read by your, uh -huh, one go. And your words will declare either you are innocent or guilty. Your very words will be used as, in the court of heaven, it is a matter of words. That is why when we come here, we shout and declare, declare after me. Declare in the name of Jesus. Because you are creating things in your heavenly court. By your words, you shall be justified. In other words, by your own words, they shall be used as evidence against you. Me, I don't say negative things. I am traveling to the nations of the world. We will have churches all over the world. Amen. Our ministry shall be one of the greatest in the nation of Africa. We will build the most beautiful edifice in East Africa. Amen. We will do great things for the kingdom. Amen. Why? Because by our words, we shall be justified. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. Now, now, if, 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 the Bible says life and death is in your tongue. Speak life. Tell your neighbor, speak life. 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 Speak life. So you need to connect with the word of life and the word of prophecy with your tongue. I said, fulfilling your prophecy. I'm teaching on fulfilling your prophecy. So when a prophetic word is given to you, speak it. Declare it. Oh, they said you are the next CEO. I am the next CEO. In the name of Jesus, I am the next CEO. You, when you constantly declare, everything is aligned in your favor. Amen. Now, everything is aligned for you. Are you hearing me? Now, 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 now Proverbs chapter 18. I, I like this, the Passion Translation of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Give me that. Give me, read it for me. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Read it. 
Shake your neighbor. Shake, shake your neighbor a little. Shake your neighbor. Tell him, don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep. You are sleeping. Don't sleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Shout at him. Wake up! Are you, are you here? Shall we read one go? Read it. One go. Hey. The talkative person will reap the consequence. No, this one is, is not in the negative. The talkative person is about, it's about what you talk. The consequences doesn't necessarily mean it can be a positive consequence or a negative consequence. So me, I am always talking, I'm buying a private jet. I'm always talking, I'll be the head. I'm always talking good things. So I will reap the consequences of my talking. Are you getting me? Yes. Sir. Yes. Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life. That is how powerful. In the book of Numbers, God said, whatever you have said in my hearing, that I will do to you. So God is waiting for you, for you to say something in his hearing. Whatever you have said in my hearing, that I will do to you. That is what God said. In the book of Numbers, he told Moses, tell the people, whatever they have said, exactly as they have said, I am going to do that. What are you saying in the hearing of God? What have you been speaking in the hearing of God? Say, I am the head and not the tail. The I am above and not beneath. I am lifted above every storm. In the name of Jesus. Name Project of that scripture Jesus. for me. Read one go. Says who? Says who? Says who? Now, this is God speaking. God says, say to them as I live. Says the Lord. Uh-huh. Just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do. Can you imagine that? So I am saying I will build a mega church. I have said it in the hearing of God. So he will do that to me. Uh, I will own companies and great businesses all over the world. I have said it in the hearing of God. So will I do to you. The other day someone come and say, Papa, uh, there's this business going on in the US. Would you like to do this? I said, yes, me, I'm a business. I would like to do it. They what do you do? I said, oh, US, ah, I'm coming. <laughs> Hear me. You can do anything. Own anything have anything. Mm. Just say it in the hearing of Jehovah. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Say to them as I leave, says the Lord, just as you have spoken, uh, 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 the, the Amplified pushes it nicely. Run, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Says the Lord. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. I will most certainly do to you Begin to prophesy over yourself. Put your hand on your head. Prophesy. Declare something. Declare something to the hearing of God. 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 Declare it. 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 In the name of Jesus. So when a prophetic word comes to you, believe it. Tell your neighbor, believe it. Believe it. Don't just believe it, speak it. Speak it. Declare it. Constantly be declaring your prophecy. Constantly be speaking your prophetic word. Constantly be declaring your prophetic word upon yourself. Whatever God said, speak it. You see, speaking is the only thing you don't pay. Not unless you are on the phone. Speaking to yourself, you don't pay. You declare it upon yourself. You declare it over your life. You declare it. You speak it constantly over yourself. I always tell people, even if you are a preacher, you must be able to preach to yourself before the other people can receive the word. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Are you ready to pray? Yes. I'm pausing my sermon. I've not even begun, but because time is running, we need to pray because we have a lot to do. Amen? Yes. And I want to close early so that we can wake up and go to in his conference. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. Be upstanding. We are going to pray and declare. You are going to pull the word of God concerning your life. 
Now, give me First Timothy 1.18. Give me in Passion Translation. Shall we read one go? Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Hold on. Now, that is the part I want you, you to focus on. It says, use your prophecies as what? Weapons to do what? To do what? To wage spiritual warfare by faith. What is the prophecy? You are the next CEO. What is the prophecy? You are going to America. Use it as a weapon. To wage war. You are going to wage war with your prophecy. If you just a man of God. I don't have any prophecy. The prophecy is simple. God says I know the thoughts I think towards you. Talked of good and not of evil. To give you a hope and an expected end. God is about to change your story. That is prophecy. I have spoken under divine inspiration. It is what? Prophecy. That your story is changing. Take it and run with it. Are you ready to wage war? Yes sir. Are you ready to wage war? Yes sir. And tonight, get yourselves ready. We are going to enter into another dimension of deliverance. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes, because Sunday we will not have service. And so we need to take advantage of today. Amen? Amen. Whatever it is that has held your life, we are going to break it now. Amen. Tell your neighbor, break it now. Break it. Say, break it now. Break it now. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I use my prophetic word. I use my prophetic word. As a weapon. As a weapon. And I decree and declare. And I decree and declare. As I pray today. As I pray, I pray today. today. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Every word. Every word. Every promise. Every promise. You have for me. You have for me. I declare. I declare. Let it come to pass. Let it come, come to pass. pass. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hear me. The whole plan of the devil is to make sure you lose the word and you lose faith in God and God looks like a liar. The devil wants you to feel like hey, all these things is not working. So he will fight your mind and fight you so that you lose faith in the very things that you know works. Are you getting me? Yes. The only reason why you are being forced so much left, right, center is so that it looks like what God has said has not come to pass. But whether the devil likes it or not, yes. it shall come to pass. I will see. Shout in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray. I pray. And manifest. And manifest. My prophetic word. My prophetic word. word. Every word. Every word. Spoken concerning my life. Spoken concerning, concerning, concerning my life. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Let it come to pass. Let, Let, it, come to pass. Let it 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 come to pass. Come to pass. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I manifest. I manifest. Divine purpose. Divine purpose. Divine counsel. Divine concerning my life. Concerning come on, lift up your voice. Oh, yeah. 
prayer partner. Hold somebody's hand. Hold somebody's hand. Hold somebody's hand. Get someone and hold your hand. Find somebody and hold your hand. Now you are going to intercede for the person. If the person is not prayerful, you can change them. If you look at them, the way they have done their makeup, you can tell. This one, they don't pray. If you look at their makeup, you can really tell this one, she's not prayerful. You can change the person you are holding down because you don't want somebody not to pray for you properly. Are you getting me? Yes. You are praying for your partner. Yes. The one you are holding, whose hands you are holding. Yes. Now, Pastor Moses, leave your wife. Hold somebody that is not your relative. You, if you have a wife, you came with your wife, find someone that is not your wife or your husband. Someone says, boyfriend. Ah, boyfriend, you have not started, so... No problem. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I intercede. As I intercede. For my friend. For my friend. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. May you come through for them. May you come through for them. Every request on their heart. Every request on their heart. Everything they are believing you for. Everything they are believing you for. Father, I pray. Father, I pray. By your mercies. By your mercies. Release it. Release. 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 As I pray. As I pray. As I pray. As I pray for my friend, for my friend. Father, release. Father, release. Come on, lift up your voice. Father, release. 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 Father, release.
to someone else. Change to someone else. Change to someone else. Change to a different neighbor. Change to a different neighbor. Change to a different neighbor. Find a different neighbor. Now, there is one thing that God usually says. That the place of your warfare, the area where you have suffered much, that is the same place of your blessing. If you have suffered in career, that means that that is the place of your assignment. The place of your greatest suffering is the place of your greatest assignment. If you have suffered in marriage, that means that is where your greatest blessing is. If you have suffered with a job, that is where your greatest blessing is. You are declaring, may God honor you in your place of faith. Yes. In your place, that area where you have greatest suffering. You are praying for yourself and praying for your neighbor. Yes. Father, they are area of greatest attack. Yes. Father, favor them. Yes. Give them a mega testimony. Yes. Come on, lift up your voice. <laughs> Over your head, yes. Any herald, yes, that want to assassinate your destiny, yes, assassinate your assignment, yes, before time, yes, let them die by fire, die by fire. fire. Mm. Herod, I've thought about the spirit of Herod here before. The spirit yes. of Herod is the spirit of the assassin, it kills things premature when you are breaking through 
in the job, it will come and kill it premature. When you start a project, it will come and kill it premature. You start a good relationship, it will kill it premature. You start marriage, it kills it premature. Anytime the name Herod appeared in scripture, it came to kill something premature. You are lifting up your voice. Yes. When Jesus was born, children, innocent children died. Why? Because they were born at the same time of Jesus. Herod gave an instruction that children born around the time of Jesus, all of them were supposed to be killed. Some were supposed to be doctors, whatever. All of them were killed just because of one man. The next time you hear Herod's name is that Herod appears and now it cut off the head of John the Baptist. The next time you hear the name Herod in the scripture that he killed James, the brother of John. Herod was just killing. Any Herod that will try to temper with your star. Yes. Temper with your destiny. Yes. Any herald. Yes. There are some people they have purpose to fight you so that you don't fulfill God's glory for you. Yes. You are declaring in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let that herald catch fire. Catch fire. Let that herald catch fire. Catch fire. Let that herald catch fire. Catch fire. Lift up your voice right now. Okay, we are not fighting you any longer. Ah, may 
da be your story. May that be your story. May that be your story. May that be your story. If you are here, shall I receive? We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again, yeah, yeah. We have come to draw, 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 draw from you again, yeah, yeah. We have come to draw.
do the impossible in your life. I told you it is just a matter of time. He's just waiting for the person that is connected to your destiny to release, to receive the miracle. And yours will be next in line. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes. Mary cannot. Zachariah and his wife, Elizabeth, cannot have a child because Mary has not been born. Because their child is the one supposed to precede Mary's child. So as long as Mary has not been found, God had not found a womb to carry the Messiah. Elizabeth still remains barren. And people I believe he was a pastor. Zachariah was a pastor and his wife was a pastor's daughter. Elizabeth was a pastor's daughter. So imagine a pastor married to a pastor's daughter and for over 20 years they have been being rich men of us. They have no child. Can you imagine what people will say? These people, they don't even believe God. They don't praise because of their sin. That is why God is not coming through. All sort of things were said concerning them. But the only reason why God had shut Elizabeth's womb was because Mary has not been found. When Mary was found, the angel goes to Zachariah and said, your prayer is heard. Your wife will conceive. Six months later, the angel goes to Mary and said, you, you shall conceive and bear the Messiah. Can I tell you something? Yes. You are lifting up your voice. Yes. Destiny is not fulfilled in isolation. There is some people God needs to align you with for that destiny to be fulfilled. For you to manifest destiny. You are declaring in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, prophetically align me. Align me. Uh, there is something God showed me that I, 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 I forgot to show you. Now, can I get a few people come here? A few people, five or six men. Oh, yes, men, just come. Now, stand here. Let me give you my wallet. My wallet. And then come stand. One, one of you, can't, um, James, you, you are bigger. Come stand here at the fine. Now, let's assume this is my final destination. Okay? And uh, I begin life from here. The true and the original plot is simple. Yes. For me to get there, it is supposed to be a straight line for me to get here. So, if I move Get back to where you are standing. Get back to me. If I start life here and I'm supposed to get there, the prophecy says, prophet, you'll be a great preacher all over the world. You'll be what, what, what is there. As I begin life here, I'm supposed to go straight and get it. But that is not the path of God. It's not a straight line. Can I tell you something? Something I wrote the other day in my book, success is never straight. Did you hear what I said? Success is never what? Straight. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no it's not straight. So God will begin you here. You know that this is here. So, uh, oh, stand here for me. And please, um, Joshua, go there for me. And then go, go further. And you come, stand somewhere there. And can I get an another person stand here? And they can go further back. Now, I begin life from here. With my, can I get a small Bible? Yes. With my small Bible and my assignment. Hold it. According to prophecy, I'm supposed to be fulfilling this. Imagine this is where you want to get to that marriage, whatever it is. The prophecy said you will get here. But guess what? When life begins, can I get another person? Another person. Somebody a bit smaller I can use. Yes. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Wycliffe. Good. Now, I begin life from here. I'm supposed to go straight and fulfill this destiny. No, let's assume this is Wycliffe and that is his destiny at the end. And I am God. God starts you here. And the enemy will push you further here. You are getting too far away from your prophecy. It looks like you are getting too far. And before you realize, you even get further. 
away from the prophecy, nothing looks like it will happen. And life pushes you slowly and you come here. Are you getting me? And you, gradually you keep pushing, you keep pushing, it's like you are finding your way back on track and you get here. And all of a sudden you come, life pushes you back here as if you are getting close to the testimony and life pushes you away again. And if you are not careful, because you got close and you came here, you may give up. Be like, this thing is not working. Because the plot of the devil, all that the devil is waiting for you to do is to give up. All that the devil wants you to do is to tell you that this thing is not working. The devil, God, what God told you is a lie. God, the devil wants you to see God as a liar. So he pushes you here. And then before you realize you thought you were getting close, the enemy pushes you far away from the prophecy. But guess what? The promises of God are yea and amen. Yes. It doesn't matter the zigzag God will take you. Yes. His promises are sure. Mm. The Bible says God is not a man to lie nor the son of man to repent. Has he said it and shall he not do it? Has he spoken and shall he not make it good? Yeah. Paul said, Romans 3, 4, let God be true and let every man be a liar. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 18, the Bible said, by two imitable things, it is impossible for God to lie. Hey. Psalm 89, verse 34, God said, uh. I am the Lord thy God. My covenant will I not break. Yeah. Neither will I alter that which has gone out of my lips. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. I present to you today. Yes. It doesn't matter how hard it gets. Yes. It doesn't matter how bad it gets. Yes. One thing is certain. Yes. What Jehovah has said, yes. it shall come to pass. Hey, it shall come to pass. I now, the enemy can bring you here. When everybody thought it's not working, all of a sudden, God will push you hey, and bring you hey, here. Hey, 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 I hey, prophesy hey. over you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. When everybody thought your end has come. Yes. When everybody thought it's not going to work. Yes. When even you, you are about to give up on yourself. Yes. Jehovah shall work a miracle. I receive. Jehovah shall work a miracle. I receive. Jehovah shall work a miracle. I receive. Jehovah shall work a miracle. I if you are here, shall I receive? I receive. In the midst of everything, yes, he shall work a miracle. I receive. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive. I receive it. We hail you. We hail you. We worship you. When a woman is has when a woman conceives and the contractions become intense, it's a sign the baby is about to come out. When the lady was giving a testimony, I mean, what a testimony! That she came, she went to all hospitals. The doctors could not find anything. She comes to the prophet, and the prophet could scan and see the problem. And she started having contractions. And she literally gave birth to the fibroid, like a five months old baby. After the prophet declared, can I tell you something? Yes. In this house, mm. it doesn't matter how hard it gets. Yes. God will give you a testimony. Amen. I said, God will give you. But somebody releasing fibroid physically. Somebody say, Power day this order. Power day this order. Now, I want you to understand that it doesn't matter how hard the devil beats you down. Your prophecy is sure. Yeah. His word concerning you will stand. Yeah. His purposes concerning you 
will come to pass. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes. You can have your seat, gentlemen. Put your hands together with Jesus. Now be outstanding. We have three more prayers and then we are out of here. Only three prayers to go. Now you are declaring any evil altar from your background. Yes. Any stronghold, any demonic forces. Yes. Mighty up and contending against you. Yes. You are declaring, let your power give up. Yes. Let that force be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now you are here. You are here. You are here. Online viewers, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. May God increase you. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you are, you are part of our partners, you can. Are, are we on Zoom? No, yes. No. Okay. Fine. We are going to close live broadcast. You are favored. You are blessed. The Lord will prosper you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In fact, you are next in line for a testimony. Amen. I know some of them are angry at me right now. Especially those of you in the, those in the U.S. Because it's daytime, so they are active. Watching. May God favor you. May God bless you. May God increase you. In fact, Amen. actually, tomorrow I have, an, I have a U.S. session, actually, isn't it? Yeah, we have a U.S. session. So those of you in the U.S., don't worry, your deliverance will be on Zoom tomorrow night. Yeah, God bless you.